Huh? Hi, I'm you and I'm plus size. I'm on a mission to try traditionally straight size brands and see if they work with my plus size body. We've already tried Urban Outfitters and I had so many surprises. We've also tried House of CB. I might go back and get this dress. Maybe I can get it tailored. It was cute. We also tried The Gap. It was... Oh my God. Yeah. Today we're trying... Hollister. 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 Why? Hollister. Why? Today we're trying Hollister. What do I know about Hollister? Um, it's a very youthful brand. I would say that they've always gone for like young people, which sounds creepy. It's a brand I knew of when I was a teenager. It's where all the popular people would go. Not me, I was an emo kid, so I wouldn't go there. What else do I know? I know that their stores, like, I don't know, the, the last time I went in one, it was very dark in there. And I don't understand how that environment is conducive to a good shopping experience, but I don't know what the shops are like today or what the shopping experience is like. Um, that's about it. I really don't know that much about the brand. So you know what? I'm excited to see what we find out today. Let's have a look at their socials and see what we can find. Okay, we're on the Hollister Instagram. Um, it's very useful very like gen z gen alpha i would say i don't know it's very sweet 16 that's how i would describe it the clothes are definitely what teenagers would wear very cutesy very demure i love their pajama sets um everyone looks so smiley and happy in terms of like the general diversity is definitely there in terms of body diversity there, there's actually a little bit but like a little bit for teenagers so maybe someone's a little bit curvier i think it seems like a really accessible fun brand in terms of the fashion it's fine i wouldn't say you're the most like fashionable person if you shop here but i'd say you have decent taste and i could definitely see like a young person go in here and buy in you know a full fit h to t minus the shoes obviously and yeah wear it out it's very cozy casual aesthetic it's cute and they're trying to do some fun halloweeny vibey stuff with pumpkins being featured and stuff i like that it's kind of it's it's cute hollis is cute we are on the hollister website and ooh, the vibes are immaculate. It feels really cool. Diversity is there from the jump. It's definitely a youthful brand, but we've established this. They also have something called Giddy Hicks, which I think is like another sub brand under the Hollister brand. But I don't fully know the ins and outs of it. So I'm not going to dive in right now. We're going to focus on Hollister. As always, let's go to women's new in and see what's happening. Ooh, new arrivals. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would definitely say that I'm too old for this brand, um, which is fine. Not everything's for me, you know? That's fine. Not everything I will do is for me. Um, but yeah, really cool. I actually, I mean, obviously the fashion isn't that exciting, but the fashion is is there in like a really chic, casual way. I'm going to delve into the size options and see what's going on. They actually go up to a XXL, which I'm amazed at, and they go up to a UK size 20. So I'm gonna filter by those two and see what comes up. <laughs> you know, a lot of the clothes that I'd just been looking at have come up. I'm literally amazed. Okay, let's click on something I would actually buy, maybe. <laughs> I'm so picky and I hate making decisions. Let me just click on this jumper. This is the Hollister Comfy Cloud Zip Up Sweater and it looks so cute. This looks really nice. I genuinely would wear it and it goes up to an XXL. So realistic. Statistically, Hollister is more accessible and size inclusive than I thought they were. It's not just about the sizing. In my opinion, you have to showcase plus size bodies on your website, on your social media. I feel like they pushed the needle a little bit, but not all the way. In terms of their website, I haven't seen any plus size bodies, which is a shame. Uh, it's annoying because there's a model who isn't the boilerplate model standard she's a bit curvier so i guess that's their attempt at plus sizing or plus sizes like a curvier girl so you know what i will give them a crumb they'll get half a point for that but the points go up to a hundred so half a point out of a hundred i mean you guys do the math here anyway <laughs> i think it's time to go shopping let's go out into hollister and see what we can find i i really don't know what to expect but hey you know what if they have XXL, anything can happen. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess the ignorance is bliss. 
like learn all this stuff. And um, what's cool about these changing rooms is you can set the light. So I'm gonna make it real bright and we'll go soft white. Like that is really cool that you can set what you want it to feel like in here. So hopefully we're getting that coastal surfer beach vibe, yeah? Hey guys, time for another dressing room try on. We have a few things to try on, so let's get started. First, this really cozy looking green top that I found in the loungewear area. I got it in extra large and it looks so cozy. I'm trying it on and yeah, this top is literally perfect. <sighs> Excuse me? This feels amazing. Okay. I love this. This is so, how much is this? This is 18 pounds. It's so soft. I'm literally amazed at how successfully this first piece has gone. Maybe Hollister will be onto a winner. Let's find out. On to the next. Okay, we have a very simple black dress. Again, in the loungewear area. Throwing it on my body. It's very soft and feels really good against my skin. Pull the lever, crunk. I feel supported. It's hugging my curves in the right way. I'm like, are you guys seeing this? Am I delusional? Yeah, like, I'm loving this dress from the front. In fact, I'm so busy admiring my front, I forget to look at the details on the back. Uh. Yeah, it's, what? what is that? That is a low waist, a low waist thing, and I'm wearing high-waisted pants, so I look literally ridiculous. I look insane in this dress. Guys, I have to try on the white version and see what the reality is. What is this dress hiding? Okay, moment of truth time. I'm going to try on. Look, I did not notice this before. This giant hole in the back of the dress, even when I picked it up. Okay, let's try it on. A moment of truth. Okay, the dress goes on very easily. Very nice. We like that. Sliding down my body. Oh, what's this? My bra straps are super visible. That looks really, really bad. And yes, I wouldn't have noticed it with the black dress. What looks even more ridiculous is my high-waisted pants in this dress. My black underwear just screaming out for attention. But I can't deny that the dress actually fits my body in a nice way. Yes, you can really see my underwear outline across my stomach, which isn't ideal, but I do like the way it feels. I do like the way it fits, kind of. Or maybe delusion is setting in. This happens a lot on this channel, guys, but we're here for delusion. We love delusion. Summer is not over in my mind, so I have to try this cute summer dress with lavender flowers or daisies on it. It's so cute, and it's an XL, so I think it will fit. And, guys, I just can't get it passed over my shoulders. Okay, so this dress has a lining and it's very stiff. So I think if I really force this on, it's not gonna end well for me. I don't think that. No. So yes, unfortunately, I have to accept defeat. I model the dress against my body. I think about what could have been all those summer nights with this dress gone. Yes, it's the exact same dress in a different print. And we think this will go different because question mark, we don't know. Okay, guys, it had some stretch, just not in the bodice where I need it. So okay. this one is worse. This one is much worse. Um, Ow. Ow. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. But again, we see the vision. We do see the vision. But the vision doesn't see us. Okay. <laughs> we gave it a good try. I think we had some wins. We had some losses. Um, we had some questions. But all in all, we gave it a good go. Thank you for watching. So much. Let me know where I should go next and see you in the next one.